is going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have my first never used match in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. This one's against Sergeant of Dokes and um, his team's looking pretty cool over there. I brought just a random squad of dudes I kind of wanted to use Omega Steelix. I found out this thing was an NU and I was like well I'm gonna definitely try to have to take advantage of this uh, crazy steel snake bastard. So as usual when I bring Triangle on my team I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Triangle as he leads off with Wiz Khalifa which is an awesome name for Eleveny. I was like yes that is that is hilarious. Wiz Khalifa, get it? Ha! So, I ended up going for the Volt Switch. Uh, I don't know what this one thing wants to do. I'm assuming it's going to want to set up some sticky web, but I want to preserve my Electrode's Focus Sash for later, so I decided I'm going to switch into old Miss Maggie here. I've got a pretty decent matchup here because I know this thing can't really hurt me, and then I might be able to set up a substitute, maybe get some nasty plots going, and then just turn into an uh, absolute bitch of a Miss Magius. These things are so damn useful in NU. Lately, this... This Miss Magius has just been tearing shit up. But uh, anyway, so he switches into this here Rotom. I haven't seen a Frost Rotom in like freaking since Nom or something. It's, it's been a while. It's been a damn while. So he sends this thing in as I go for a substitute. He decides, he's like, you know what? This is not the matchup I'm looking for. And he's going to go ahead and Volt Switch out here. As um, I, I believe that was a pretty good play. I think that thing's Choice Scarfed because I was actually expecting to be able to outspeed and be able to get a Nasty Plot safely behind my substitute. But unfortunately, this upside, this upside down fucking... Calamari ass bastard comes out here and uh, I can't really do too much to this thing even after a nasty plot I know I'm not gonna be able to one-shot it and then he's probably gonna have night slash or something to be able to kill me So I was like, you know what? I don't have many switches I could go into my Steelix is not gonna enjoy a superpower from this thing later on So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna send in freaking yellow balls He smacks me right in the yellow balls and I'm like, oh god That is you know, you just don't do that to a lantern, bro You don't just knock off a homie's yellow balls like that like seriously, man, so I lose my leftovers, which is kind of a bummer, as I go for the Thunder Wave, as he switches into a Meganium. I went for the Thunder Wave, I wanted to get that Malamar freaking uh, paralyzed, because that thing is going to be a major threat, considering that the, he got the uh, the sticky web on my side, my su my stuff's going to be slow as hell, and uh, that, that, that Malamar is going to be able to fuck some shit up. So, I now have a paralyzed Meganium on the other side of the field, and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go into Miss Maggie, honestly, he's going to actually set up, end up setting a light screen up, and I'm like, you know, that's that's overall, like, not too bad, because I can just start substituting, hopefully I can maybe trick him into going for Leaf Seed, probably not though, because he knows I already have Substitute, but uh, either way, he's now going to go ahead and switch, as he goes right back into the freaking Malamar, he realizes that the Malamar is a pretty decent matchup against Miss Maggie here, so... I go for a substitute, hoping he switches into anything but this freaking thing. But, uh, turns out, freaking Malamar comes back out as, uh, the only thing I can do at this point is go for a Thunderbolt from, you know, behind the freaking substitute. Even with the light screen up, it's not going to do a damn thing. So, yeah, that was kind of a, a waste. I, I, the main reason why I threw leftovers on this Ms. Magius, it's mainly, it's built to hold the life orb because it's a sweeper. But I feel like I substitute so many damn times with trial and error, it's like, I gotta get that health back, you know what I mean? So the leftovers are actually... Pretty handy with this thing, I might say. So this was the point in the match where I was like, you know what, let's let's test Steelix out here. Let's see if I can get a switch on a knockoff. It's not going to do a damn thing. And then I can go ahead and uh, use that speed lower from the sticky web to my advantage. This is a Steelix basically designed to have the lowest speed possible so I can uh, take advantage of Gyro Ball. So here I go ahead Mega Evolve, turn into a crazy ass golden weird magnetic ass giant snake thing that I am not looking to, you know, cross paths with. This thing looks like it'll fuck a homie up. So I go for a Gyro Ball. Um, I figured Gyro Ball is probably like the only situation where it's good if your opponent uses sticky web so I was honestly like pretty stoked because now my Steelix is gonna be able to do um, some more damage with that if you don't know gyro balls a move depending on how low your speed your speed is it's gonna do more damage so the lower the speed higher damage with that speed fall from the sticky web my Steelix is rocking a speed of like 15 so <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't know exactly but yeah you know it did pretty solid damage with that gyro ball but anyways I bring in Lantern, I go for a Scald as uh, he comes in with a friggin the friggin Leveny guy and I'm like, you know what, would have been nice to get a burn there, but uh, all I know this thing is going to do is probably go for the Leaf Blade. I don't know, these things sometimes like Swords Dance and then do some pretty sketchy shit. I don't know though, but I kind of figured, I was looking at movesets, honestly, Steelix kind of has a pretty decent chance up against this king, this thing, as long as he doesn't get any freaking critical hits. So. He's gonna go for a Leaf Blade and he realizes that's not enough damage, so now he's like, you know what, I'm gonna switch into uh, my camera up here, which was a nice play, as I go for the Gyro Ball, and it is not gonna do a damn thing to this black camel fucker thing. <laughs> this camel toe ass thing on the other side of the field here. He's going to uh, end up scaring out my friggin' Steelix because I do not want to take a, like, a Lava Plume or, you know, Fire Blast or whatever these... Whatever these freaking Mega Camera Ups do, I, I guess I kind of expected it to Mega Evolve. He does end up Mega Evolving, and he turns into Captain Magma. 
And so I'm pretty much sitting here kind of worried. These these mega camera ups are the real deal. They got some firepower. L literally, I, I, I guess they got some literal firepower. But um, I have an assault vested for Alligator who takes that uh, earth power not as nice as I had hoped. And I end up going for the Aqua Jet, which was kind of a, mis a misplay on my part as I thought it was going to kill. Ends up not freaking killing this asshole. And I'm like, wow, for, for Alligator, what, what, are you, what are you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> I guess that was kind of my bad. I, I, I probably could have outsped and ended up going for a waterfall and killed it. But, you know. No, sorry about that for alligator shit happened so send in my mustard colored homie here as um i wanted to just kind of get a shadow ball off on that camera up to say he actually ends up saving it for later switches into the leaveny leaveny i don't even know how the hell you is this leaveny is leaveny i'm gonna call him leaveny but um i end up going for the shadow ball and then i'm like you know i'm kind of i'm gonna switch here i don't really know i actually probably should have stayed in i'm kind of making a couple misplays here i probably could have just stayed in ended up killing that thing with a shadow ball but then again i was kind of like hesitant as to how fast these things were so i was like you know what i'm gonna just send in my freaking gold steelix as uh, the leaf blades aren't going to be able to do too much to me at all. And then I'm able to kill this thing with a gyro ball after he hits me with one more attack. So, look at this Steelix just eating up attacks right now. This thing is... Why is this thing not used more often? I don't know. I don't know how well it would be viable in like UU or... Uh, I don't know. Overused it <laughs> at all. But it's still pretty damn badass in NU. So... He brings out this freaking camera up again who's kind of pissing me off because I was, you know, I don't have any stealth rocks up. I should have got the stealth rocks up on that turn, but whatever. I feel like he's going to go for a fire move this time. I was like, you know what, I'm going to send in yellow balls. I can end up taking this fire blast. Look at, look at how badass fire blast looks now. Hits my fish right in the face. Luckily, I can live that, and now I'm able to outspeed it and kill it with a skull. So, that is the end of Sir Captain Magma here, and um, great success. So, you know, freaking yellow balls is looking pretty solid over here. This is the first battle. First battle back for this guy. He pretty getting putting in work for sure. Um, ends up bringing in the Malamar now, as I have to go ahead and sack Yellow Balls. Unfortunately, as the Psycho Cut is gonna kill me. But then I'm like, you know what? Fine, that's fine. I'll just go in my boy Wool Smith over here. And the speed lower is going to affect me, but the Wool Smith's honestly not too worried. I'm generally not that fast, anyways. So I end up going for the Retaliate, as he's gonna bring back out the Meganium, who I kind of forgot about. Meganium was still kind of in the back of my head, but honestly, completely forgot about this thing. Meganiums can be freaking threats, man. They, they, they just got they are bulky as hell. So Retaliate's going to do a decent amount of damage, and then I'm able to go ahead and hit him with a super effective U-turn. So that's pretty cool. Wolfsmith getting some life orb damage, but that's totally fine. This thing's basically re a nice revenge killer. It's got Sucker Punch, which is pretty useful. I believe I take something out with that later. But anyways, I decided to go into Steel Yo Girl, as um I was kind of... I don't, I don't know what the hell I even did this for. I maybe didn't have another kind of thing to U-turn into. I figured... Maybe Steelix was kind of one of the lesser, you know, needed Pokemon at this at this time in the match. So he ends up going for a Synthesis, gets rid of his Paralysis, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch. I'm gonna switch right into Miss Maggie, kind of scouting out what <coughs> scouting out what this freaking Meganium is gonna want to do. And I realized that uh, Miss Maggie kind of can maybe have the upper hand here if I can get some nasty plots up. I know that Meganiums have pretty damn decent special defense regardless, but uh. Also, the Giga Drains aren't freaking helping. He's stealing my damn health, and I'm like, what What the hell here? So I go for a substitute, kind of just to test if it's going to break the sub. Um, the Giga Drain is, in fact, actually going to break the substitute. And um, I always forget that you actually get health back when you use Giga Drain on a substitute. Look at that. He gets health back. I'm like, where are you taking the health from, man? Freaking, my substitute ain't got no HP. I don't know. I guess the HP you lose is what you used to turn the freaking substitute. I, I don't know. Substitute was always a weird kind of concept move to me. It's like cut off cut quarter of my health and just throw a beanbag out there. But I, I don't know. So I ended up going for a Shadow Ball. It is not going to kill the Meganium and he's going to be able to finish me off with a Giga Drain, which is a bummer. Ms. Magius, you had a good run though. Good job. So now I'm able to bring back out Wool Smith again, ready for some more retaliation. I go ahead uh, and get that freaking Sticky Web and then he's going to hit me with a Giga Drain and then after the health he gets back, my retaliate is not going to be able to kill this thing. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this Meganium. I, I just want to kill this damn thing. Retaliate's not going to kill it. And I was like, yo, luckily, I do have Sucker Punch. So thank God for having Sucker Punch. I am able to smack that thing right to the freaking dinosaur face. And the Meganium is dead. So that is a major threat that I don't have to worry about. Because I don't have any freaking fire types on this team. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. But anyways, he's going to bring out the Malamar. I just go for a Sucker Punch to get a last little... Kind of ditch effort, little HP gone on this thing. I'm still worried about this Malamar. I I'm honestly do not really have a plan for this thing. This Malamar, after this freaking su superpower, he's going to get an attack raise and a defense raise. And I'm sitting here like, oh god, I just, I may have fucked up at this point. Should have taken care of this thing earlier. But now I realize, hold on, I still have a, a freaking focus sash on my electrode. So I actually send this guy in after a plus one attack. 
he's not even able to knock me down to my sash. And I was like, that's uh, that's that's pretty damn weird. As now I'm able to go for a Thunderbolt. Not gonna do too much to this thing. Almost kills it though. As here he told me after the match, he expected my Electrode to have Sucker Punch. I remember I do actually have a couple of these things that carry Sucker Punch, but um, I don't use it too often. So this is not one of my Sucker Punch ones. So I just ended up going for a Thunderbolt again as he brings out the Frost Rotom, who is going to die from that. And um, all he can do at this point is bring in his freaking Malamar and kill me, but I still had a plan. I got Aftermath on my triangle. So this Malamar is not going to be hanging around for too long. I just exploded my triangle all over your face. So Aftermath is going to come in clutch right there. That's like the first time Aftermath. It's the first time I've ever even used it strategically. So that's pretty cool. I figured I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to let you kill my freaking Electrode. Aftermath is going to do its thing, and that is awesome. So now all I've got to do is kill this little Pikachu wannabe thingy, and um, my Steelix is going, going to be able to go ahead and kill this thing with an Earthquake. After the play rough, I'm going to be able to live that, and Steelix just took so many hits. I remember, I wonder, somebody count how many attacks were used on my Steelix. This thing just ate that shit up. But anyways, the Earthquake is going to kill this cute little fella, and that is the end of the match. So... The only reason why I won that was because of my Electrode's Aftermath, which is pretty crazy to think about. But thank you guys for watching. Click that thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Peace.